Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna Schmidt and I am a house healer, a spirit clearer and a psychic development teacher. And today I'm going to talk to you about what it's like in the day in the life of a body dowser. Because as a house healer and an energy field clearer, I use my body as my main dowsing tool. It is a natural tool that we all have. And I have other videos on my channel. If you're interested in learning body dowsing, if you want to have a look at those. So body dowsing is using your natural senses to pick up on energetic changes around you. Now I'm what some people would call a super sensitive. I pick up on everything. So I pick up on people's emotions. Uh, I can sometimes pick up on their behaviors, which is a really odd one. I might start talking like them, walking like them. I have no idea why this happens. It's just something that I do. I pick up on paranormal energy. So if you've seen the other videos on my channel, I talk a lot about paranormal energies. It's just another vibration of energy beings that are around us all the time. So today I would like to share with you what it's like in the day of being a body dowser. So my day starts rather early. I find that I don't sleep very well. I have never slept full nights, more than four hours of a night. And I am aware of everything and anything that is around me. So these can be rational sounds like knocking, scratching, you know, trees outside the house, cats meowing, dogs barking, lawn mowers, which are being used today. Also, the subtler energies of spirits and paranormal energies whispering and asking for help, going out into the environment and I'm picking up on energies everywhere I go. Now, this is a positive thing, but it can also be, um, I wouldn't say it was detrimental, but it can be a bit much to take when you first start body dowsing because as you build on your skills in body dowsing you're going to find that you're heightening your natural senses of hearing seeing feeling touching tasting and knowing and you're going to find that your psychic skills are going to be heightened so much that you're going to be pretty much switched on 24-7 until you learn some ways to actually tune out of being a body dowser. For myself, because I work with paranormal energies, I find that they're here, they're here all the time and they're coming to me for help, they're coming to me for transition. So as soon as I wake up at about 3 a.m. in the morning, I can hear them mingling outside my house because they know they're not allowed in until they see me sit at my desk and open my folder to help them with their transitioning. So my day starts at 3 a.m. I will wake up and use my body to just get a feel for the energy around me. Now if it's full moon time or if there's been eclipses or solar flares there can be heightened emotions in the air. They're like little electric sparks that you can just pick up on. And so you may wake up feeling grumpy or agitated or you just don't quite know what is going on. So I will then sit down probably about five o'clock in the morning and tune in to my spirit guides and just ask what, what is going on energetically astrologically and numerologically in the universe at this present moment because at around about 6 a.m i will do my grounding and protection technique so grounding for me is visualizing going down into mother earth and connecting with a tree root or a crystal cave or mother earth herself i see her as a granny and I just go up and I give her a great big hug and I really feel myself being pulled down into the earth and being connected to this reality that we live in. Sometimes I will take 
the Australian bush flower essence called Red Lily, which is really good for grounding people who are working in a spiritual path or doing meditation. So when it comes to protection, I will use Fringed Violet, which is another Australian bush flower essence, because I find that for me personally, white lighting doesn't really work for me anymore. As I'm raising my vibration as a super sensitive body dowser, I have to adjust my grounding and protection techniques along the way. So fringed violet is what I use for my protection method. And quite often in the mornings, I like to go outside, get some sunshine, get a feel for what is going on energetically before I start my work. Because body dowsers will have information coming at them at quite a fast pace. So you have to know how to break it all down and to be able to understand what you're picking up on. I know if I've got a, a friend coming to see me that day, I might wake up thinking about them and all of a sudden I've got all these strange emotions going on in my head that I know aren't mine. And when that particular friend comes, we have lunch, we have a chat, they talk about all these different things that are going on in their lives and I'm like, yep, I picked up on their emotions. So it's really important to use grounding and protection methods every day to lessen the impact of picking up on other people's emotions, things that are going on in their lives that aren't yours, that you don't want to fill this space with other people's stuff. I'm really, really rigid on this because we need to look after ourselves physically and energetically. So then I like to settle into my day of energy work. So I'll sit in my office and I'll be there for maybe three to four to five hours doing my clearing work with my clients. So as I'm doing this, I'm picking up on paranormal energies coming into my space because they know as soon as I sit at my desk, that is the when they're allowed to enter my work room. And they will be there looking for assistance in transitioning or they'll have a particular need. So going out in public is when body dowsing can kick in in a positive way or a little bit more of a challenging or a warning way. So it's really important, depending on your body dowsing sensitivity, you need to know where you're at, what you attract, and just be aware and be alert when you are out in the world. It's really, really important because you're going to pick up on people's thoughts, people's emotions. You may pick up on energetic attachments. You may find that you pick up on people's behaviours. I have issues with my motor skills in my legs. So when, quite often when I go out, I will notice that my fine motor skills in my walking, I'll become more sluggish or I'll start tripping because I'm picking up on the energetic changes that are around me. Now, some of the things I'm talking about today, you're not going to have an issue with these, but I like to share my experience. As a 53-year-old body dowser, I've been doing this my whole life since I was born. It's just one of those things that some people do naturally. So I can give you some tips and ideas on things to do when you're out and about as you start using your body dowsing. Be aware of how your senses alert you. Are you in a positive situation or do you feel like you need to get out pretty quick? So I always say to people, just be aware of where you are in that particular moment. And you need to know and understand what your energy is like when you are in a normal, happy state. And then when it changes. But it hasn't changed because of something you have done. It's changed because you've been around a person or in a situation or in a particular place. So you have to have a strong understanding of what your own energy feels like. So when I come home from being out 
I will sit down with my dowsing, with my pendulum, and I will just ask, do I have anything that I need to clear? Are there any energetic attachments present? Because as you know, if you watch my channel, I talk about different levels of spirits and dark energies that attach to people for different reasons. And body dowsers, if you're one that will pick up on other people's emotions, you may have a hitchhiker that comes home with you. Now, these hitchhikers aren't detrimental. They're just feeding off the emotions that are in your space. So when I come home, I always do a check. And if you find that you are out and all of a sudden you feel sick, you feel nauseated, your head is spinning, you're just not quite sure what's going on, Ground and center yourself again. Centering in the heart space is really, really important and so, so easy because it brings your focus back to where you are in that moment. Or do the visualization where you're looking and sending yourself down into Mother Earth. Now, before I go to bed, I will always check my energy field again. I will see where I'm at. Do I feel tired at the normal time? Do I feel heightened? Is there a reason that I'm feeling heightened? Quite often, body dowsers will pick up on their spiritual support network being close. Now, some people will get their spirit guides coming in the mornings. Some will get them in the afternoon. Some will get them in the evening. Some will get them coming during meditation time. The more work you do with your body dowsing, you're going to find that they will just drop in whenever they pick the moment. I quite often can get into bed, lights out, settled, snuggled down into bed, ready to go to sleep, and all of a sudden I'll get a repeating message in my mind. And I'm like, okay. They've said it three times, so I know it's something I need to write down. And at the moment, I'm doing a lot of channeling for my YouTube videos. So I'm like, okay, yep, that's not my higher self. That's coming from somewhere else. I need to go and write that down. So I will get up and go and get my iPad. So it's really important to take notice as a body dowser. It's really important to take notice of the changes in your energy, the changes in your behavior, to listen to your spiritual support network because they are with you 24 seven and they want to help you advance yourself on your spiritual path. And a lot of people are natural body dowsers. They get that, that pain in the stomach or that weird feeling in their gut or they just feel that a situation isn't right. They shouldn't go that way. They need to go another way. That is your body letting you know to do things in a certain way. It's either a positive way or it's a warning. So I'm just giving a name to it. I just call it body dowsing. So when you can start trusting this, you will find that your spirit guides are then going to be able to use particular confirmation signs with you on your body. I talk a lot about this tingle I get on my outside of my lower left leg. That is my yes. I get wobbly feelings in the head for no. That is my general no. Or sometimes I'll get a slap or a gong if I'm not listening to what my spirit guides are saying. Not a physical slap, just more like a uh. They're telling me that I'm not listening. So when you can be aware of when your senses change, that is, when you, when, that is when you're going to know that your body dowsing is starting to work for you. And you just have fun with it. Quite often, people get too serious about all this. I like to make spirituality and psychic development is so easy. We are all naturally psychic. We are all natural body dowsers. We put too many rules, too many limitations, too many I have to achieve this for it to actually be body dowsing. No, it's understanding your own body and the changes that you feel, whether it be in your mind, in your physical body, in the energy field around you, or in your home. So I hope you have found this interesting today. I know I waffle on, but it's just the way that my guides channel my information to me. So 
Try some of the techniques I've talked about today. Be aware of how your energy changes, of your surroundings. Ask your guides to help you advance your body dowsing. It's as simple as that. So thank you. I will talk to you again soon. Thank you for now. Bye.